What is going on guys, it's Shay, a real friend, and today I'm going to be checking out Season 2, Episode 3 of The Bear. So I know last episode we kind of left off with Tina and Ibra, you know, they ended up going to culinary school, and you know, they're going to learn how to get a little better at, at the job. Ibra's a little bit nervous about starting culinary school. Things are not really going so good for him. I think he's too much in his head, to be honest. I don't know, I, I think maybe he has the fear of like change and, and not being able to keep up. Sydney ended up having, you know, a dinner date with her dad for her mom's birthday. Yeah, we found out that her mom did pass. During the dinner, it got a little heated. You know, I had an argument about her profession and where she was gonna go, what she was gonna do, you know, as far as, as career-wise. Yeah, I think them coming together and kind of talking about that is like a sore subject. Uh, so maybe Again, we're probably gonna get a little bit more of that later on down the road, probably not this episode. Carmi, yo, he got the max game put on him. He got the maximum game put on him. Uh, I don't know who Claire is, where she came from or what, but cake and ability is crazy. Um, she ended up getting this number, so maybe she might be popping up in and out of uh, episodes this season. But yeah, if, if you wanna check out that video, it's in the playlist, go ahead and check it out. I'm really excited about going ahead and getting this started. I, I feel like I've been waiting forever in a day. If you are new here, what's good guys? My name is Shay, and on this channel we watch movies, we watch TV shows, we talk about it, you know, we discuss it, we have a really good time. So if that's something you're into, go ahead and subscribe. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into it. What provides I like the, for um, enjoyment? That's what it means. Bill Cosby sweater he's rocking right now. I am uh, currently opening a restaurant that's providing zero amusement or enjoyment. Um, no, no, I'm kidding. It's um, it's okay. I'm uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying to start from a, a, a healthy place, a, 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 more a positive place. Good. And um. Yeah, that's the goal, right? Right. I think when I was a kid, um, anything that would give me any sort of excitement or, or, or amusement or enjoyment, uh, it always got kind of fucked. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I don't think my family meant to ruin it or anything like that. You know, I, I don't think they did it on purpose, but I, I think... Sometimes they just, they try too hard. Yeah. I have to remind myself to breathe sometimes. I, um, I have to remind myself to, uh, to be present, you know? Remind myself that the sky is not falling, that, um, there is no other shoe, which is incredibly difficult yeah, because there's always crazy. another shoe. <laughs> I don't know, I think, um, you know, maybe if I could provide more, more, more amusement or, or enjoyment for myself, it would be easier to, uh, to provide for others, you know? I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys. Thanks for letting nice. me share. That's cool, man. It's crunch time. Don't, don't do that. You're only gonna stress Rich yourself Point, out. Known to be the neighborhood diner people counted on for the past seven decades, is closing its doors. Seven for years? Yesterday, the restaurant made the announcement that it would be closing permanently. Everybody loves the food. They love the service. Love they the love this restaurant. restaurant that people could always count on. Well, the many employees that have worked at the restaurant for decades came and came and came Y'all gotta chill. Can I pitch you something crazy? We sent Marcus somewhere? So maybe not so crazy. No, no, I think that's uh, smart. Yeah. I was just yeah. saying that yeah. too. How's his mom? I think she's stable. Um, oh, that's his mom? I just was thinking it might be good to send him somewhere wild. Wild like... Like Copenhagen? Yeah, yeah, I got spots there. I mean, I figured you would. 
Happy? Yeah. Marinated the radicchio, burnt grapefruit, got a little bit of chili in there. What is that creation? All right. All right. Grapefruit. You got the guard radicchio. Mm. Oh, gosh. Mm, 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 salt. Mm, mm. It's too much salt. Oh, me. You got water? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you marinated it too long. It's okay, though. I mean, it's not okay, but it's two times in a row. Uh, it took me about an hour to clean this up, and then I'll uh, uh, meet you at Kasama. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Sydney, you gotta chill. Thank you. And, uh, Sid? Yeah? This really was almost perfect. Yeah. Almost. There you go, Tina. I'm really feeling like the music selection and everything, but it's so hard not to get claimed. You gonna tell everybody your prego? Ebra, where you at? Ebra, don't leave Tina hanging. How's your mom doing, by the way? Dead. Yeah. They said that I thought she, she got said stuck dead. On Zoom. You know what that's about? Got a promotion. Uncle Frank is proud of her. So am I. So we had a little party. Huh. Frank, huh? And Mom got a race, too, which is why Uncle Frank got the good K from Webber's. That's awesome. Hey, Mom got a promotion. She's Aww. a hard worker, and that's important. She's right? a cute kid. Yeah. But you still have to pay child support, because fair is fair. <laughs> yeah. I'm Richie. I'm care of you. And I always will. You know that? I know, Daddy. I don't know how something so innocent came out of Richie. Right. We'll never me. know. All right, backpack attack. Here we go. I'm going to watch you until you go inside, okay? I love you. And Eva. I love Taylor Swift, too. I just needed a break, you know? <laughs> Man, I think we all need a break. She's literally everywhere. Good for her, you know, but... Hello? Did you really give me a fake number? Oh. Claire? Should my feelings be hurt? I think they're hurt. Hmm. No, 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 no. Sorry, no. That must have, uh, that must have been a mistake. You know I know your entire family and all the facts, right? You know all the facts? The yeah, facts? I know all the fucking facts, and they're gonna come beat you up. <laughs> Whoa! There are, um... There are multiple there are facts? There facts, yeah. Why? Just walk me through giving me a fake number. Why? Yeah, what, what is with that? No, no. You think she I, would um, find out? I didn't mean, I didn't mean for that to happen. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're I, insane, I really Carmi. Well, I was originally calling before I found out I got fake numbered and had to ask Neil for your real number to ask if you were busy Jesus. today. So now I have two questions. Shoot, sure, yeah. Okay, one, is it okay that I have your number or did you really not want me to have your number? No, 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 no. It's, it's, uh, I want you, I want you to have my number. Okay, say that one more time. <laughs> I want you to have my number. Say it more okay, enthusiastically. Cool. Are you busy today? Um, you gotta brush her off. I'm sorry. You gotta do it one time. So I'm, I, um... Okay, can you just, can you just not make this weird? Like, I just Dude, need a say something. hasn't bailed on me. What, Big Denny? No, Mac. Denny's dead. Oh. Oh, shit. Damn, Denny. That totally sucks, but I have to move all this shit from my mom, who is not dead. She's actually absolutely thriving into storage and I, I okay they're really big boxes and I need a really big car do you still have that van 
Yes, no, we do. We still have that van. Um, I am in. Really? Yeah. Yeah, really. Okay, I'll text you the address. No, no, I know where it is. Are you sure? Because I'm worried about your number issue. Yeah. <laughs> I know where it is. You know what? I'll give my address to Fack. <laughs> and then he can give it to you. Does that sound good? And then punch you in the face. Does that sound good? <laughs> wow. Oh, no, I don't need Fack. The violence. You know, he, um, he told me that you guys are really close and that he's your best friend. Fack, Fack said that? is... No, no, no. That's, That's an exaggeration. <laughs> really? Oh my god. No, no, he is. He's probably my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting to sit with. For you. <laughs> Yo, she's feeling you, Carmi. You need to be excited. This whole impending doom thing, it doesn't suit you. About that. Get There's this the girl. Breakfast sandwich with longanisa, and also can I get a hash brown? I'll also have the mushroom adobo, and um, I'm one of these mango tarts, and uh, a matcha latte, please. What is this bonnet situation? It's a Shushevsky thing. Courage and confidence leads to decision making. Sure. Go devils. Okay. Coach K from Duke? I'm a Tar Heel. Although I respect Duke. What? I do that all the time. My mouth is watering. Oh, Sydney, I'm so jealous right now. Yo, this looks so good. It's giving me chills. This is not fair. Have you ever seen food so good you just get aggressive because you just can't have it? How dare they show this to me? Mm -hmm. Show me the food. actually a partner or does she just like do they work with each other hey Sydney chill okay you just get a taste of Chicago he's gonna get a taste of Claire all right everything will be fine oh one second what up, Chef? Hey, sorry, I'm by a fucking train. Did anybody uh, come through? Uh, just like 15. Oh, 
you for jobs? Looking for permits. Wait, permits? Yeah, permits. Fuck, so many reps. Yeah, so many. Yo, Fack, any new hires, bro? No, just people that weren't nice. Yeah, people that weren't nice. Yeah, no, I, I actually heard that. Um, okay, uh, just let me know if anybody comes by. Yeah, sure. Oh, also, Marcus, there's something I want to run by you later. Looking forward. Okay, bye. You just say looking forward? Yeah, I don't know. I, I've never said that before in my life. Yeah. Looking forward. Why don't we push this? Why don't we look forward to that? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Fack. Oh, uh, this is painful, guys. Nice. How are you not bursting at the seams? Oh. What, 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 yeah, what yeah. is this? What's ha what, what is this? What happened? Well, you got wood rot, you got termites, you got roaches, you got dead raccoons. Squirrel, raccoons. And, uh, rock woods. What? So obviously, the wall is fucking gone. This isn't a facelift anymore. Yeah, you know, pal, I think you might be right. Yeah, it was terrible. Like, um, terrible. Uh, what, uh, sorry. So we just knocked everything down? Yeah, yeah. What? Sorry, you, you would have preferred that we... Call me? What? That I For what? call you to tell you that the, the, the walls are rotting and they need to be knocked down? Yeah, exactly. Um... Okay, sorry, so just, um... Uh, you know, for, for, for next time, what should I have done? <laughs> um, th this just feels like... Uh, uh, obviously a really big decision and it would have sure. been nice to have been included in it. Okay, got it. No, no. Next time the uh, the walls need to be knocked down. There's nothing we can do about it. You let me know. Okay. Cindy, I'll it's not know. that big of a deal. I'll let you know. Yeah. Thanks, Chef. Yeah, thank you, Chef. That's kind of weird. So what, so you can just know and not do anything? You all good? Yeah, thank awesome. you. Yeah, for sure. So no, sure. we're hiring if you, this doesn't work Stop. out. Stop. Fuck me. You need Carmi's help. I don't quite know what's going on with Sydney right now. That was a really good episode. It was a nice, you know, venture around Chicago food taste food taste montage episode. I really, really enjoyed that part.
I don't know. City just seems a little young for a midlife crisis. It's just kind of weird. Like, if they are partners, then yeah, she does need to know about everything that's going on inside of the restaurant. I don't, I don't see how her just knowing would have made any difference to what they had to do. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know exactly if she's like freaking out because she's reconsidering the partnership or she's freaking out, you know, because she can't get it right. I, probably a little bit of both. Which is why I kind of think that they are really good together, you know, as partners. Both of their minds can create magic together. But yeah, I was kind of wishing, you know, we would see a little bit more Carmi this episode. Uh, but yeah, he he was over there getting the game laid on him. Good for him. I, I think both of them kind of just have issues with being happy. Yeah, I think they're going to have to get out of that slump of like expecting bad things to constantly happen, you know, around every corner. Sydney, you know, she went around Chicago. She had all different sorts of food. Got advice from, you know, old f or former bosses and former co-workers, which is really cool. But at the end of the day, I do think that... Sydney and Carmi make, as far as creating and making food, they do make a really good pair. Um, they're just going to have to get on the same page about business, you know, and, and how it should be ran. But, yeah, other than that, it was a really, really good episode. You know, I was kind of hoping that the whole Copenhagen to Marcus idea would be pitched this episode. I'm going to have to wait until next episode. I'm pretty sure he's going to be super, super excited about that. And uh, I hope he learned some tricks while he's there, to be honest. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed this episode. And if you enjoyed it too, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.